Welcome to eConcepts. The Toyota production system is known for its lean manufacturing techniques and has influenced businesses worldwide while emphasizing continuous improvement, respect for people, and a focus on quality control. The 13 pillars of the Toyota production system that we are going to discuss aim to streamline production processes, eliminate waste, and enhance process efficiency. Let's review the first pillar of TPS called the Kanyaku Stone. Kanyaku Stone is a tool that is used by Toyota to remove imperfections from manufactured car parts. The size of a fist and made of gritty resins, the stone is known as the devil's tongue. Brushing the stone across the surface of a panel smoothens the metal so that it is ready for painting. Although a Kanyaku Stone is a physical tool, the concept of removing imperfections as part of quality control can be applied to any business operation. For example, checklists, inspections, checkpoints, and quality standards serve as konyaku stones as they are used to examine any work-in-progress item for imperfections and flaws. The second pillar of TPS is Pokeyoke, which simply asks to avoid mistakes. Pokeyoke is a safeguard that prevents a process from proceeding to the next step until the proper conditions have been met. So TPS employs devices that automatically stop the line if there is an error. For example, in the following diagram, a limit switch detects undesired assemblies and separates them from the desired ones. Alarms, sensors, checklists, color codes, warning signs, or error detection systems are some examples of different Pokeyoke designs to avoid mistakes in the manufacturing process. Next comes the third pillar of TPS called Hansei. Hansei is the process of recognizing and learning from mistakes to prevent them from occurring again. Toyota hosts Hansei Kai meetings in which failures experienced during the production process, if there were any, are reflected on and future prevention plans are put in place. You can implement Hansei by following four steps. Your first step is to identify the problem and then take the responsibility. Remember, it's not the responsibility or fault of one team member, but the whole team. In the third step, the root causes of the problem are listed and analyzed and then an improvement plan is created and implemented to eliminate the problem. Next comes the third pillar of TPS called Andon. Andon refers to a visual aid tool used to inform and alarm workers of problems within their production process. It is usually activated by a button or pull cord, and hence production is automatically halted when a member of staff pulls it. As shown in the following diagram, a visually aided tool alarms the workers about the current position of the operation by using different color codes. The red color shows the production has stopped, while the yellow color shows that the problem is unidentifiable and needs further investigation. The green signal shows no issue in production and indicates smooth running operation. Next, we have Jidoka as a fourth pillar of the Toyota production system. Jidoka means automation with a human touch, or simply automation. Designing equipment to detect problems and stop automatically when required are fundamentals to Jidoka. The concept of Jidoka is to provide machines with the capability to detect abnormal conditions in the production line. This allows process operators the ability to quickly address the issue. In the following diagram, you can see how the process has improved from manual operation to fully automatic processing, thus allowing operators more flexibility to resolve the problems. Following are the four steps to apply to Jidoka. Discover an abnormality, stop the process. Fix the immediate problem, investigate, and solve the root cause. The next pillar is the just-in-time methodology. Just-in-time production was pioneered by Toyota. It is an inventory management approach where goods are produced or acquired exactly when needed, minimizing storage costs and waste while improving efficiency. It aims to reduce excess inventory and streamline production processes to meet demand more precisely. Stocking up on inventory to ensure demand is satisfied may seem ideal, but it comes with a significant cost. Companies risk capital tied to inventory, warehouse costs, and obsolescence to name a few. Some potential benefits of JIT methodology include lower inventory storage costs, minimize dead stock, shorter production cycles, Reduction in work in progress. At number seven comes the pillar named Heijunka. It refers to reducing unevenness in production and minimizing overburden for the production team. The main goal of Heijunka is to eliminate the possibility of more and more through leveling by volume and product type. 
Moore and Mori are also the TPS pillars and will be studied later. But let's review an example first. A furniture company receives an average of 700 orders a week for a specific desk chair. However, the exact number per day varies. 150 on Monday, 75 on Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday, and so on. By implementing Heijunka, the company would produce 100 chairs every day. So we have reduced the unevenness in the production. It is just a simple example for you to understand the basic concept. In the end, Heijunka can be implemented in two ways. You can reduce the unevenness in the process, either by doing leveling by volume or by type. Now, the, the next pillar is Genshi Genbutsu. Genshi Genbutsu is the idea that the best way to solve a problem is to see it for yourself. Practicing Genshi Genbutsu allows businesses to focus on facts and minimize biases that can be derived from reports. Teams are able to better visualize the problem to pinpoint the cause in a much faster and accurate manner. In the Toyota production system, managers are present on the factory floor. This immersive approach means they fully understand the working environment and processes and can advise the best possible solution when a problem arises. At number nine comes the famous pillar named Kaizen. Kaizen is at the heart of the Toyota production system. It is a philosophy of continuous improvement where company employees at all levels work together to achieve regular incremental improvements to the manufacturing process. Kaizen simply means change for the better, to improve productivity, reduce waste, eliminate unnecessary hard work, and humanize the workplace. In simple terms, improves everybody, every day, and everywhere. 5S framework of Kaizen is very famous and aims to create a clean, organized, and efficient work environment by eliminating clutter, organizing items, maintaining cleanliness, establishing standards, and sustaining these practices for continuous improvement. 5S methodology focuses on five principles, sort, set in order, shine, standardize, and sustain. Tenth pillar of the Toyota production system is Kanban. Kanban is a visual system that helps to control the flow of work within a process. Kanban is an inventory control system used in just-in-time Jerry IT manufacturing to track production and order new shipments of parts and materials. By limiting work in progress and promoting continuous improvement, Kanban can improve workflow efficiency and reduce bottlenecks. Kanban for manufacturing works by using a board, often a whiteboard or digital board, divided into columns representing the stages of the process. Some core practices of the Kanban include visualize workflows limit, Yabab the UIP, improve collaboration, implement feedback loops. At number 11 comes the pillar Genba. Genba means the real place. If you're a surgeon, your Genba is the operating room. Genba is the physical place where work is done, and its philosophy is that all actions and processes are as transparent as possible. A Genba walk is walking around within your Genba with the purpose of understanding how work is being done. Toyota team members regularly conduct Genba walks on the factory floor in order to identify areas where potential improvements might be made and to better understand the workload of their colleagues. When doing Genba walk, you need to define your purpose. Prepare your team. Focus on the process, not the people. Take note of your observations, share your findings, and recommendations. Next comes the twelfth principle called Nemawashi. Nemawashi says that decisions shouldn't be dictated by individuals. They should be made as a team. In the Toyota production system, information is shared openly with employees in order to involve them in decision-making processes and allow them to voice their opinions. Applications of the Nemawashi approach include decision-making, project planning, consensus building, quality improvement, organizational change. In the last, we have Muda, Mori, and Mora strategy as the 13th pillar of TPS. Muda, Mori, and Mora, 3M, work in tandem to eliminate waste. Muda divides waste into seven categories also known as Timwood. Transportation, inventory, motion, waiting, overprocessing, overproduction, and defects. Mori means to overburden, and this is avoided by even distribution of production tasks in the assembly processes. Mora means unevenness, which is eliminated in the Toyota production system by training workers to operate multiple machines so that there is cohesion between their operation. 
In the diagram, you can clearly see how we are wasting the resources. That was all from my side. I hope you have liked this video. Thank you so much.